For today's practice, I'll recommend that you have a couple blocks available or something similar, as well as a blanket. To begin, set up your space. Make sure it's a space that feels inviting for you right now. And then come up to a comfortable seat and close down your eyes. Make any little adjustments here so you can strive for stillness in your seat. Take the shoulders down away from the ears. And grow a little taller through the spinal column, reaching up through the crown of the head. Soften into the forehead, into your jaw. As you move your attention to your breath. Continuing to breathe naturally. Noticing if you feel more ease with the in breath or the out breath. Is there anywhere in the body that the breath feels non-existent? Posture, if you slouched, grow tall, shoulders down away from the ears. Maybe breathing in and out through the nose now, start to bring depth to your breath, creating equal depth with your inhales and your exhales. to your ujjayi breath, slightly constricting the back of the throat, creating that oceanic sound. Staying tall in your seat for five deep breaths. Keeping the eyes closed, extend the arms out to the side so the hands are off the mat and you're reaching through the fingertips, palms face down. From here, start to create a little fluttering action with the arms. Feeling that you need to engage a little bit into your abdominals to support the stable and long spine. Start to create small circles now from the shoulders, staying in one direction. Go the other way. Slowing down the circles, keeping your arms extended, turn the palms forward, thumbs point up. Belly's drawing in as you sit nice and tall. Breathe in as you are. As you breathe out, bring the hands to touch in front of you. Inhale, open through the arms. You can take this at the pace that feels good for you right now if you like to keep it slow. Maybe you'd like to pick up a bit of speed here, coming to that strong, rhythmic breath. Three more. Arm 
arms extended, turn the palms up, breathe in, breathe out, inhale to reach up, exhale, arms back to the side, keep going, Last three. Arms reach up, stay here. Turn the palms away from one another. Sweep your right arm under the left for eagle arms. The palms might come to touch as you lift the elbows a little bit higher and the forearms away from the face so you feel some space between the shoulder blades. If eagle arms isn't feeling the best for you, then take the hands to opposite shoulders, still bringing that space between the shoulder blades. Eyes can close down as we take three full breaths. To release the arms, take the elbows down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Palms away from one another. Exhale, sweep your left arm under the right. Eagle arms are holding on to opposite shoulders. With the eagle arms, lift the elbows a little higher, forearms away from the face, eyes can close, three full breaths. Inhale here. Exhale, take the elbows down, release the arms, take the hands to the knees. It might feel nice to shrug the shoulders, roll them back. If you're sitting with the legs crossed, cross your legs the other way so you bring your other leg in front. Fingers come to interlace at your low back. As you inhale, draw the knuckles down, lift the heart a bit, maybe you lift the chin a bit. Feel a nice stretch across your chest. You can take a full breath here. And then come back to a more neutral spine. Maybe you need to bend the elbows to bring the palms together. Move your hands now over to your right waist. Grow tall through the crown of the head, chin parallel to the floor, and then tuck your right elbow back. So as if you were looking in a mirror, you want to not be able to see your right elbow. Long through your neck, and then you might choose to hover your left ear over the left shoulder. Bring the head back to center. Take the hands towards your low back so you can switch the grip with your hands. Take the other thumb on top and then move the hands over towards your left waist, chin parallel to the floor, and then tuck your left elbow back. Option to hover the right ear over the right shoulder. Head back to center. Take the hands towards the low back to release the interlace. Fingertips frame the hips, inhale, sit tall. Exhale, gently twist over to the left. Right hand can catch the left knee, left fingertips behind you. As you inhale, sit even taller. Exhale, option to twist deeper, turning your gaze over your left shoulder. Continue to breathe in your twist. Right hand stays where it is. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, lean over to the right. Bring the stretch in the left side. Squaring the chest down, take the left arm to cross over the right. Exhale, round through the upper back. Bring the chin towards the chest. With your inhale, release, come to sit tall. Uncross the arms, frame your hips with your fingertips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, gently twist to the right. Right fingertips behind, left hand can catch the right knee. With your inhales, grow tall. And with your exhales, you might deepen your twist, turning your gaze over the right shoulder. Make sure you're breathing.
Left hand stays where it is. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over, stretching down your right side. Next exhale, chest squares forward, right arm crosses over the left. With your exhale, round through the upper back, chin towards the chest. Inhale to release, sit up tall, uncross the arms. Maybe take some movement into the shoulders. And then come forward to your hands and your knees in tabletop. In table, you might slide your blanket under the knees for a bit more padding. Spread the fingers wide to distribute the weight. Walk the knees under the hips and the hands under the shoulders. The left knee might walk in a little bit as you extend the right leg long behind you. Flex the right foot, point the toes down, feel your hips stay square to the mat. The weight moves more into the right hand as you extend your left arm forward, thumb to the sky. Neck is in line with the spine, keep the gaze down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next inhale, open the limbs out towards the outer edges of your mat. And then exhale, take them back to the center line. Inhale, open left arm, right leg out. Exhale, take both in. One more on this side. Point the right toes, breathe in, left fingertips to the right toes. Breathe out, fist with the left hand, round through the back as you intend the left elbow towards the right knee. Inhale to go long. Exhale, elbow towards the knee. Last time. Hold, reaching, one more breath. Softly bring the hands and the knee down. Find your center and table. Maybe walk the right knee in a little bit to the center line. And then reach the left leg behind you. Point the toes down to the mat. Steady here as you extend your right arm forward. Thumb points up. Inhale, open right arm, left leg out to the side. Exhale, take it back in. Two more with your breath. Point the left toes, inhale, feel a stretch, fingertips to toes. Exhale, fist with the right hand, elbow towards the knee, round through the back. Inhale, go long. Exhale, elbow towards the knee. One more. Pause, reaching out, breathe in. Breathe out. Gently take the hand and the knee down. Walk the knees out wider than the hips. Toes might touch the center line. Hips go back for wide knee child's pose, resting the forehead down to your mat or to a prop. Take this child's pose as an opportunity to smooth out your breath if it has become a little short. Deep breaths in. Long breaths out. With your next breath, make your way to downward facing dog. You can move any blanket from underneath the knee as you reach the hips up and back. Relaxing the neck with the head go heavy between the arms. You might notice the hamstrings right away as you pedal out the feet, bending one knee and lengthen the other leg. You can allow this movement to come into the hips. Maybe they go from to the left to the right. Take this into the neck, look under one arm and then the other. Make sure you're pressing down through your fingertips and then taking the weight up into the hips. Come to stillness in your downward facing dog. Knees can be bent here to encourage the stretch and the length through your spine. Deep breath in, long breath out. Walk your feet to the hands or wider for a rag doll. So a generous bend in the knees, 
Upper body hangs heavy over the legs. It gives the head a gentle shake. Welcome here to hold opposite elbows. Add a bit of weight to the arms. Maybe you sway from side to side. Find stillness in your right dog. Releasing the elbows, squeeze the glutes, pull the belly in, and slowly roll up to stand. When you're standing, take the shoulders back, chin parallel to the floor. Walk the feet in closer together. You can keep them apart, or you might have the big toes touching, heels slightly apart. All lifting the toes, fan them up wide, and then bring them back down. Palms are open to the front of your space. The neck is long, shoulders are away from the ears. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. As you exhale, twist over to the left, allow the pelvis to move, open the arms to a T, thumbs point up. You might look all the way to your left hand. Inhale, come back to face the front, arms up overhead. Exhale, twist over to the right, maybe look into your right hand. Do that one more time to each side. Next time you're facing the front of your mat, breathe in. Breathe out, chair pose, bend the knees, sit the hips back. So in chair, the arms can stay up here, maybe reaching in line with the ears. Or the hands can also stay at the heart center. With your focus on the legs, make sure the weight is in your hips and not forward in the knees. So keep the weight back. You might feel a bit more weight in the heels. You could play with lifting the toes, making sure that you're not gripping too much with your toes. Breathing in this awkward shape. Notice what happens when you feel a little uncomfortable. Is your mind taking you somewhere else? Can you stay with your breath? Stay with the discomfort. Begin to feel the weight shift more into your right foot now. Hover your left. If you mind flip the right leg, keep the inner thigh strong, not letting the knee cave in or wiggle around. From here, step to a warrior one. So you're landing the left foot and lifting up through the crown of the head. Warrior one is a squared hip posture, meaning both of your hips are pointing in the same direction. To get this, you might need to take the feet on wider tracks, so wiggle one foot out a little bit more to the side. Maybe it's a shorter stance, you're not going so deep into the hip joint. With your back leg, you want to make sure your back hip, knee, and toes are all in the same direction so you're not twisting through the knee. If having the heel on the mat is uncomfortable for you, then you're welcome to come on to the ball of the left foot in a modified warrior one or a high lunge. Take the legs how you like them and then bring your hands together at the heart center. Maybe you close your eyes for a few breaths. Again, maybe dipping into that discomfort, maybe vulnerability. Where does your mind go? Does anything change with your breath? Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, palms away from one another. Bring the fingers to interlace at the low back. Knuckles draw down, lift the heart up a bit. Now go really heavy in your back leg as you lean forward with the chest, but just on an angle. Keeping the weight in the hips, not in the front knee. Soften into the jaw. We're going to be lifting off from here into warrior three. You can lift onto the left toes. Maybe it's a drag of the left foot as you straighten the right leg. Coming to balance on the right leg. 
working here, work at coming. So you're creating a line from the tip of the head to the back toes. What you want to avoid here is that opening through the hip. Point the left hip bone down. It's harder to balance. Keep all the right toes on the mat. One breath here in Warrior Three. Maybe keeping the interlace as you step back to Warrior One. Crown of the head reaches up. Take a moment to arrive. Next inhale, knuckles draw down, heart can lift, maybe a bit of a back bend. Exhale to humble warrior, take your chest to the inside of your right leg, letting the head go heavy, maybe lifting the hands off of the low back. Stay heavy in your left foot. One more breath in Humble Warrior. Strong through your legs, take the hands towards the low back. Lift to Warrior One, releasing the hands, reach them up to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Hands can stay overhead, or you can take the hands to your heart. From your Warrior One, step back to Chair Pose. So the knees are bent, the hips are back. Not here forever. Last breath. Inhale, stand tall, reach up. Maybe reach the hips a little forward, lift your heart. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold over your legs. In Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen your spine, maybe the legs. Exhale, bend the knees enough to plant the hands and step your toes to the back of your mat for a high plank. Knees can lower down here to be more supported. Be mindful that you're not collapsing here through the chest or through the hips. Press the mat away. One breath and plank. Next, exhale, knees can come down softly. Tops of the feet, staying long through the torso, lower with control. Inhale to a gentle cobra, lift the heart up. Exhale to downward facing dog, reaching the hips up and back. Let the head go heavy. Bend your knees here if you're feeling a pull in the back. Press through the index fingers and the thumbs. One more breath and down dog. Next, exhale, bring the feet up to the top of your mat. At the top, inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to a forward fold. Inhale, stand tall, sweep your arms up overhead, option to look up. Exhale, hands touch, take them down to your heart and close your eyes. Come back to the breath. Arms rest down beside the body in mountain pose. Adjust the feet as you like them for chair. If you like the feet apart, or maybe big toes touching, heels slightly apart. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, twist to the left. Allow the pelvis to move as you open through your arms. Come back to face the front. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Twisting to each side one more time. At the front, inhale, exhale to chair, bend the knees, sit the hips back. Arms reaching up in line with the ears or take the hands at your heart center. Release tension from the jaw. Breathe through the discomfort. Maybe going a little lower. Two more breaths. The weight shifts into the left foot, hover the right. 
Step to warrior one, landing the right foot at the back of the mat, reaching out through the crown of the head. So take the time you need here to set up. If you like the feet on wider tracks, maybe you heel toe the left foot out more to the side. Maybe you walk your right foot in. Maybe you come onto the ball of the right foot instead of grounding the heel. If grounding the heel, make sure you have that line of the hip, the knee, and the toes all in the same direction. We're waiting taller through the spine. Shoulders soften away from the ears. And close your eyes for the first few breaths. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Palms away from one another. Exhale, take the hands to interlace at the low back. Inhale, straighten through the arms, reaching the knuckles back for the shoulder blades kiss. And then heavy in the back leg as you lean your chest forward. Staying strong in your front leg, not letting the knee cave in. When ready, lift off into your warrior three. Balancing on the left leg as you straighten into it. Hinging at the hip, look to create a line from the crown of your head to the right toes. Level the hips, tuck the right hip down a bit. Left big toe stays on the earth, one more breath. Step back to warrior one. You can keep the interlace, if you let it go it's okay, you can bring it back. Moving to humble warrior. Inhale, knuckles back, lift through the heart. Exhale, take the chest to the inside of the left leg. Head is heavy if it feels okay in your shoulders. Take the hands away from the low back. One more breath in humble warrior. Hands towards the low back as you lift through the chest. Releasing the interlace, reach your arms up overhead, warrior one. Hands can stay up overhead or take the hands to your heart center. Step back to chair pose at the top of your mat. Knees are bent, hips are back. Last five breaths in chair. Press through your feet, stand tall, reach up, and you lean forward. Exhale, fold over your legs, bend your knees any amount. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine, maybe the leg. Exhale, hands to your mat, step to your high plank. Option for the knees to lower, holding this one for two full breaths. Next exhale, gently take the knees down, tops of the feet, stay strong through the body as you lower your chest down. Inhale to cobra, keep the hips down, bend through the elbows. Exhale to downward facing dog. Holding downward facing dog. Feel your shoulders wrap out and around. Staying in your downward facing dog, inhale to the toes, hips go high. Exhale, bend the knees to your chest, looking up, step or hop your feet between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand tall, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart, thumbs to the chest. Come to stillness, close your eyes. Stay with whatever it is you are feeling, experiencing right now. And feel grounded through that steady rhythm of your breath. Eyes can 
open. We'll be coming into a standing balance pose next. So if you'd like to step off your mat, maybe come to the wall or to a chair, then please do so. I'll turn this way so you can see me. So first of all, I'll demonstrate a few different options. First option will be to keep a bend in the knee, just holding the leg with the hand. And then we'll be coming in to a twist from there. More of a challenge, so if your hamstrings are quite warm and you're quite steady in your balance, you could take the big toe into the finger or the piece fingertips. And then for the twist, the left hand is coming to the out, the hand is coming to the outer edge of the foot, and you're reaching up and twisting from there. So I'll cue you through it. Start by coming to your space where you want to balance. And then turn your gaze to a still point. Feel the weight shift into your left foot as you lift the right leg up. Begin by supporting the right leg with the right hand, or you can extend the leg, take the big toe with the right piece fingers. The left hand now moves to the outer edge of the right leg or the right foot. Inhale, reach your right hand up, feel length through your spine. Exhale, you can add the twist to the right. The right hand could reach to the back of your mat, thumb to the sky. Maybe look into your right hand, make sure you're breathing. Turn your gaze forward, hands at the heart center. Feel fire in the belly, get the leg a little higher, and then take it down. Move the body, the hips, the knees, the ankles, the toes. And then we'll do them on the other side. So we'll start by standing in your space, steady your gaze. You're moving the weight into the right foot and lifting the left knee up. Either taking the leg with the left hand or the big toe with the left piece fingers. Right hand moves now to the outer edge of the left thigh or the left foot. Inhale, reach the left hand up. Take another inhale, grow tall. Exhale, option to twist towards the left. The left arm could extend behind you. Much easier to keep your gaze on that still point. Harder, shift your gaze, even just a little bit. If you fall out, it's okay, come right back. Looking forward, take your chest forward, hands to the heart. Fire in the belly, get the leg a little higher, and then take it down. Move the body, shake it off. And make your way to stand tall at the top of your mat in mountain pose. Arms rest down, palms open to the front, shoulders away from the ears. Moving through one final sun salutation. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge of the hips, fold forward, bend your knees as you meet. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine, maybe the leg. Exhale, bend the knees enough so you can plant the hands Step the toes all the way to the back of your mat. Last plank in this practice, going for three breaths. Modify as you need for your body today. Inhale to stay. Exhale, knees can come down, tops of the feet with strength, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale to cobra, to you bend the arms, keep the pelvis down. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips go up and back. Last time in downward in this practice, if you'd like to move the body in any way. Look for softly taking the knees down and finding rest in a child's pose. In child's, the arms can reach forward. Or it might be nice here to reach the arms back. Heads to the shoulders, hang over the knees, and the palms face up. Good 
Rest as long as you need. And then make your way up to sit on the mat. Taking the legs out long in front of you. And take the flush back, feel rooted through the sit bones. You have your blanket if you'd like to slide it under your sit bones, help elevate the pelvis a little bit. We'll be taking the right knee in towards the chest. And then opening from the right hip, take the right leg to cross on top of the left. Maybe you thinking about stacking through the knees. You can modify this shape, modified cow face, by bending into your bottom leg, and you can slide one of your props under the legs. Maybe it's your blanket, maybe it's a block. For full cow face legs, you're going to lean over to the left, and then swing the left leg around. So again, you're thinking about stacking through the knees, and the feet can be out towards the outer edges of your mat. The difference between the full cow face and the half being that in full, both of your hips need to open, in half, just one does. So if in the full variation, maybe you're feeling it in your knees, you can modify by sitting on a block or on your blanket to help elevate your hips. Or it might be better for you to stay in half cow face with the bottom leg extended. And what's nice about the half one is that you get a stretch through the hamstrings. So even if you feel okay in the full, you might choose the half. Take the legs how it feels good for you right now, and then frame your hips as you go tall through the spine. Hands will move up to the heart center, staying up tall through the spine, and then interlace the fingers, reach the palms forward, and then you have the option to reach the palms up. Shoulders release a little bit away from the ears, you might close your eyes. Imagine your back's up against a wall, so keep feeling the length through the spinal column. Every inhale, you might feel that tug through the hands, that lift, and every exhale through the shoulders soften a bit. One more breath here. Deep bend in the elbows to release the hands. Fingertips frame the hips, inhale as you sit tall. Option with the exhale, fold the chest forward. Whichever option you chose here with the legs, the sensations are going to change as you fold forward. So you want to go to that sweet spot where it feels good, not where you're feeling pain, but where you lose your breath. Eyes can be closed. Soften into the stretch. Breathe into your hips. Maybe breathe into the hamstrings. And feel the breath in the back, the low, the mid, the upper. Every exhale sinking a little deeper. Next inhale, lift the chest up. You can lean back to help bring both legs long in front. With both legs long in front, take the flesh back, feel rooted through the sit bones, and then bring the left knee in towards the chest. Open into the hip, just stack the left leg on top of the right. Half cow face legs are staying right here. You can be more supported by bending the bottom leg, slide your prop underneath. Full variation, you're leaning over to the right, opening into the right hip to swing the leg around. And this side might be different. Maybe you do what you do on the other side. Maybe it feels better to do something else. Come to the legs how it feels good for your body. Sit tall through the spine. Hands come to the heart center. Interlace the fingers, reaching the palms forward. And then option to reach the palms up. Every inhale, feel that reach up the length. Every exhale, the shoulders soften a little bit. Elbow 
elbows bend, release the hands. Fingertips frame the hips, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, option to fold forward. Not rushing into the fold, do so slowly. Feel if you're tensing up in the hips. See if you can let that go. Just let the hips soften. Take your breath into that space. Next inhale, slowly rise, lift the chest, and lean back to help bring the feet to the mat. The feet go wider than the hips. And then very slowly, you might choose to windshield wiper the knees from side to side. We'll be continuing from the back if there's anything you'd like before coming down. If you'd like to dim the lights, grab any extra clothing, extra blankets. We'll be moving a little bit more from the back. Once on the back, if you'd like to bring the knees into the chest. From the knees to the chest, take the feet to the mat so the knees are pointing up. You might lift the hips, take them back down, find length in your spine. And then bring your right knee into the chest. Hands can take a hold of the leg. And draw some circles into the right ankle, going in each direction. Flex your right foot, open into the right hip to cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Opening into the right hip as you intend the right knee out towards the outer right edge of your mat. This can be a really nice place to stay. If you prefer, you could thread the needle, lifting the left foot and taking a hold of the left leg. You want to make sure you're not feeling any pain in the right knee. If that's the case, I would recommend keeping the left foot down. And even more so, you could take the knee more towards the midline so you're not opening so much into the hip, and that's okay. Just looking for a gentle sensation in the outer right hip. Put the left foot down. If you like, you could add a bit of pressure to the right inner thigh, encouraging that opening. But again, make sure you're feeling it still in the hip and not up in the knee. If you're threading the needle, you have the interlace. The right elbow could add a bit of pressure to the right inner thigh from there. In your variation of thread the needle, take three deep breaths. Take the left foot back to the mat if it's lifted, followed by the right. And then take the left leg long to the mat, extend the leg. Open the arms to a T, palms up, or you can practice the arms, bend the elbows. Move your hips over to the right a little bit. Moving into a twist, cross your right knee over to the left. The leg might easily fall down to the floor. Maybe you like to slide some support under the leg. It could be a block, it could be your blanket. And then the left hand, could rest on top of the right thigh. With your inhales, fill the belly with your breath. With your exhales, intend the back of the right shoulder down, and maybe you turn your gaze over the right shoulder. Eyes can close as you breathe deeply in this gentle supine twist.
from the twist, turn your gaze up, return on to the back, sole of the right foot to the mat, so you can move your body to center, take the left foot to the mat, maybe lift the hips again, find length in your spine, and then hug your left knee into the chest. You bring movement into the left ankle, drawing circles in each direction. With the flex in the left foot, open into the left hip, cross ankle over thigh. Breath goes into the left hip. Stay right here, choose to thread the needle, lift the right foot, take the right leg. Head and shoulders stay down, the neck is long. Three deep breaths. Sole of the right foot to the mat, followed by the left. Extend the right leg long, and then open into the arms, palms up. Move the hips over to the left a bit. And taking a twist, cross the left knee over to the right. You can slide your props underneath the knee if you like. The right hand can rest on top of the left thigh. With your inhales, fill the belly. Exhales and tend the back of the left shoulder down, maybe looking over the left shoulder. Let the twist happen gently with your breath. Inhales to fill up. Exhale, feel the twist, left shoulder down. One more breath in your twist. And to come out, look up. Return on to the back. Sole of the left foot connects to the mat so you can move your body to center. And settle in to Shavasana. You're coming to a shape where you can relax. When the body feels comfortable, the plane flat on the back, you feel some pain at the low back, then I would recommend keeping a bend in the knees. Maybe it's so generous that the feet are on the mat, the knees are pointing up. Maybe it's less generous by sliding some support under the back of the leg so you can have more soft bend in the knee. Or maybe you'd rather lay on your side Maybe it's on the belly. Maybe you'd like to get upside down. You could take your legs over a chair or take them up along the wall. There's no right or wrong shape for Shavasana. Choose the shape that feels best right now. You're there, the eyes close, and the body becomes heavy. Every exhale, feel the body sink deeper into the earth. You begin to release control of the breath. You allow it to be free. Enjoy your Shavasana. Enjoy this time of peace.
we wish to give more time to Shavasana and stay exactly as you are. Otherwise, start to come back, invite some movement into the body. Welcome in a more energetic breath. Feeling the need to rush. Move slowly until you arrive up in a comfortable seat. Sitting comfortably, close back down your eyes. Hands meet at the heart center, thumbs to the chest. Feeling our practice together with the sound of OM. You can join in or you can simply listen. Take a full breath for nothing. And inhale to chant. Thank you.